Hello guys, welcome back. So in this video, I'm going to make a tutorial on Fibonacci lines, how you can set Fibonacci lines in your own chart. So there's basically two main types of Fibonacci lines. There's more, but I'm just going to cover the two main ones. Uh, one is a Fibonacci retracement, which is this one. It goes from point A to point B. And the other one is Fibonacci extension, which goes from point A to point B to point C in waves so before you can actually use these tools you need to know how to recognize waves in in a chart in any chart in any market so i'm on the daily candles for bitcoin versus us dollar so in this time frame uh let's see in this time frame the waves would be like so uh, let me lock this and grab the line here so here we have point a which is the bottom of the wave this is an impulsive uh, wave in an uptrend so point a to point b and the correction to point c we have one wave here then the next wave is point a here point b and point c and then the next wave is from point a whoop, from point a to point b to point to point C at the bottom of the wave. Then the next one, A, B, C, and then A, B, C, and then A, B, C, and then A, B, C. All right, and now we're working on the next wave. Now, to clarify, this has absolutely nothing to do with Elliott waves, okay? Forget all about Elliott waves. Every market moves in waves, you know, whether we are uptrending, downtrending, or going sideways, we move always in waves. We have an impulsive movement and a retracement. Impulsive movement and retracement. Impulsive movement and retracement, and same for the downtrend. So, impulsive movement, in this case down, and then retracement goes up but it's uh, still called uh, retracement here so and then uh impulsive movement and retracement so these are just waves market move markets move in waves constantly always they are never you know stuck in the exact same price they will move in waves even if we're going sideways so okay there's a lot of math behind the elliott wave theory okay not every wave is an elliott wave but i'm not going to go into this subject in this video this is only for fibonacci lines so now that we can recognize waves and by the way this is the daily chart but if you go into smaller time frames then obviously you're going to see uh a smaller waves i can see it from here in a you know from point point a point b point c and then a b c you know you have a smaller waves but if you want to trade these waves you should go to smaller time frames for the daily candles this is you know this is just right the right size for the waves in this market to do you know swing trading in the in the daily candles but i mean it's easy to recognize wave waves in any time frame i think so we can we count waves like this in technical analysis we call the point a you know, the bottom of the wave, point B, the top of the wave, and point C, the end of the retracement. Okay, that's how we call it in technical analysis, A, B, C, which has nothing to do with Elliott waves again. So now the Fibonacci retracement, we will use it to try and estimate where the retracement is going to go. So after the, after the wave uh, formed from point A to point B, we 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 use this tool to try and guess where the c is going to be so that we get a good entry in the case of the uptrend we are going to use this tool to try and get a good entry because the fibonacci retracement is going to help us estimate where the bottom of this way of this wave could be and the fibonacci extension is the opposite once you had a full wave completed then you use the Fibonacci extension to guess or to try and estimate where the top of the next wave can be so that you can take profit in this trade that's on an uptrend. So the Fibonacci retracement goes from point A to point B. And I'm just going to extend it so that we can see the lines into the future and see if it worked or not. 
Okay, so we can see here that we did uh, get some support in the first Fibonacci line, which is 23.6, but it didn't hold. Then the next level was support as well um, at the level of 38.2. And then the level that actually held was the next next one down, which was 50%. Uh, so th this was for a 50% correction in this, uh, from this last impulsive, impulsive movement. You know, 50% correction, it doesn't mean that Bitcoin uh, corrected 50% of its total price. No, it's just from this last impulsive movement. And here it bounced. So once it was bouncing and we could see a strong bounce from here, we could start using the Fibonacci extension to try and estimate the top for the next impulsive movement. So for this, we use the Fibonacci extension and we use it and we use it from uh, point A to point B to point C. Point C is here. I'm just going to extend it like before so that we can see the lines into the future. And we can see uh, that uh, we got the, the 0 0.78 was a little top here so we could have taken some profit here but it was not a very strong uh, resistance and it continued up the next fibonacci line the number one which is very very common for extensions for extensions is very common the one and then any other line that has a number and then 0 0.618 618. okay so the one is very very common to take profits it was at four thousand dollars more or less i did take profit here in this uh in this wave so and the next one was at 5200 so we missed the top because there's no indicator that is 100 percent accurate so we you will miss targets for a little bit many times but it doesn't matter because you had plenty of time on the way down to take profits you know if you didn't reach your target you, you have plenty of time here to exit the trade but that gives you an estimate okay that's how uh, that's uh how these tools work they are estimates they are not 100 percent reliable or 100 percent probability from here having this stop and once we see this uh, crash starting we can start to anticipate this was the top so we can use again the fibonacci retracement to try and estimate where the bottom is going to be so for this again we grab the fibonacci retracement and we go from point a to point b and again i'll just extend it and we can see this was very, very accurate. It bounced perfectly uh, at the level of 61.8, which is very, very common for retracement. 38.2, 50, 61, and 78. So these are the most, most common ones. And this one worked perfectly. Now, if it goes below the 78%, then we can assume we are in a bear market, usually, usually. But anyways, this one worked very well here in the 61.8 and we bounce from here so now now that we have an impulsive bounce here a strong bounce with a strong volume we can start to anticipate this was the bottom and we can use the fibonacci extension tool again to try and estimate the top for the next wave so let's see we delete this we go to the fibonacci extension again and we go from point a to point b and then to point c and i'm just going to extend it and we can see the number one, which is very common, was a perfect uh, point to take profit. It retraced here, but not that much, really. Well, actually, it was quite a lot because it was a, you know, a few hundred dollars per Bitcoin difference. But yeah, it was this top here was not likely to be the very top of this impulsive movement because it was not high enough comparing to the previous top for this to be a long-term top. So but anyways the next stop then it was at eight thousand dollars more or less so we missed this target for just a little bit but it gave you an estimate in any case this stop here was not again was not high enough compared to the previous stop and consolidation for this to be a long-term top i was talking about this uh before uh, on youtube at this time so you always need to use you know the common sense factor as well you just don't you know you don't trade based in one single indicator you use common sense and look at other indicators as well and price action etc etc but this tutorial is focused for fibonacci lines only and how you can set them in your own chart and so then the next uh, line up was the 2.618 um for 11,200 more or less and we see it was a strong resistance we had a lot of rejection here 
uh, but still it was not the top. The next level up was um, at 14,400. Uh, you could have been taking profits here because uh, you were already massive profits. And then the next one up was at $16,300, the 4.236. So this is a very, very impulsive wave here. And ideally you would have been taking profits a little bit earlier than this if you were swing trading. Okay, guys, so hopefully this is clear. This is how you can set uh, your Fibonacci lines in your own chart. Hope it's helpful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.